Okay, this is a heater core that's been removed from a vehicle. Uh, first of all, the easiest way to tell that your heater core is bad is when you first start your car up and your windows fog up, especially your windshield. You'll get a, all kinds of fog all over your windshield. Uh, that's one sure sign you ought to pay attention to. Some people ignore it uh, and uh, they wait until somebody gets in the car on the passenger side, especially if they're wearing flip-flops or no shoes at all. They're going to notice that the carpet's wet because the coolant has leaked out onto the carpet. Uh, third thing you're going to notice if you're really in denial uh, when the mildew sets in is uh, you're going to have an unpleasant odor in your car caused by the coolant uh, remaining saturated in the carpet. Obviously to repair it you have to replace the heater core and uh, a lot of these are not very convenient to get to so you usually have to take uh, uh, the uh, dash apart and, and the whole uh, a plenum apart that houses the heater core and the air conditioning evaporator and remove this and replace the core. You can see where all this corrosion is where this core has been leaking right here and uh, again a lot of these will leak on the seams things like that uh, and uh, these are where the hose connections where the heater hose connects up to the uh, engine and where the coolant goes through this so this is just nothing more than a heat exchanger it's just like a radiator except the heat is, uh, is uh, pulled into the passenger compartment and it has a blower fan behind it or it has outside air coming through it and you can direct this uh, down to the foot wells or you can direct it uh, to come out through the dash vents you can direct it to come up through the defroster vents a lot of times air conditioning compression is engaged too to control humidity inside the cabin and uh, that's the heater core so remember those symptoms you see start to see some fog on the windshield when you start the car up in the morning that's the first sign you need to do something uh, if you can't replace the heater core right away you can bypass the heater core by taking these two hoses and uh, just putting a, uh, a uh, splicer inside splice fitting inside of it join the two hoses together and you can bypass the heater core you won't have any heat you won't have any defroster function uh, but at least you won't be leaking any more coolant doing any more damage until you can get this replaced these can be very pricey because of the labor to actually get in there and remove this sometimes uh, it can take uh, the better part of a day to uh, remove and replace one of these and that's when you know what you're doing